Alright, man, shut your ass up, bitch. I need to record the video. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? For real, for real, yeah, yeah, bitch. I just fucked up the script. I have it stuck, but. God damn it. I am wearing this while it's 30 degrees Celsius outside. Please leave a like. I deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, baby Katus lovers? <laughs> you a goddamn pedophile for real, man. Oh my god. And welcome back to our beloved baby Katus YouTube channel. Now, as you can see, I'm standing in the middle of Columbine about to make an explosive video. <laughs> Now since Fenobi and Good Blocks went down like the Twin Towers, people are constantly shitting out revivals to the point you could use them to season your food, use them as a hula hoop, exercise, or to cause a worldwide tragedy. <laughs> Today we'll be going over the little cycle of this absolute mess of a community and its main focus. Roblox revivals. I'll be breaking down different stages or steps or Whatever you want to call them, man. These revivals go through until they get stabbed to death with a fucking toothpick by a dude with a single letter in his name. <laughs> this is extremely awkward. <laughs> Stage one. Giving birth for real. First off, the creator has sex with... I don't know, his stuffed animal or something. They never get pussy though, so yeah. And with that, they have just caused a nuclear holocaust. Or about the same scale of problem created a Roblox revival. <laughs> but fear not, since this community is literally the pinnacle of Beetlejuice level intelligence, we literally have a Walmart bug exterminator who you can call at any time to mass report every single revival you want. It doesn't really matter anyway, since this guy probably looks like Brad Rat. Therefore, he will go ahead and take his little toothbrush to scrub away every single Roblox revival to get the shit stains off this planet. Stage two. The yo, ain't nothing gonna happen, so we'll let everyone into our revival since we refuse to learn from others past mistakes phase. Which I also like to call the non-invite key phase. Invite keys are, in my opinion, a crucial part of Roblox revivals. We all know how fast you can get your IP leaked, your father found, your mom done, your house invaded by a bunch of 12 year olds that throw bricks at your window to make you do the thug shaker. <laughs> Therefore, it's <clears throat> of great importance to, to secure our revivals, bruv. Not every major place for brain rot, Roblox revivals, has this stage, so... Therefore, let's move on to the next one, which will eventually happen, which is... Stage 3. The My Roblox Revival Got Pounded Senseless, Therefore I Am Now Taking Basic Security Steps Phase. The title says it all. Either your mother, your Roblox Revival, or your father that they found, but you failed to find for the past 32 years of your life since you ran away in your room playing Roblox Revivals, eating shit all day, got pounded fucking senseless! Which is why it's time to secure your Roblox revival. If you didn't end up literally getting every user doxxed, butt-fucked with a screwdriver, and thrown off a cliff, then you're lucky. <laughs> Since your revival is about as secure as you are without NordVPN. I'm kidding, as if they'd sponsor me, bro. <laughs> so your stupid ass better get to fixing your goddamn mistakes. Or the same mistakes everyone else made at that! You introduce invite keys, you fix all the security holes in your revival to not get everyone else's holes resized! And your revival is at least a little more secure. That is, until you get to stage 4, which is... Stage 4. Exploiters. And I ain't talking no EDP. <laughs> ah yes, exploiters. God, that sense alone sounds so fucked. Ah yes, exploiters. People that go into Roblox games to make little kids smash up their mom's iPad with a cement block. These are also a very usual part of the cycle of old Roblox revivals. They cause drama, they do a little trolling, they yell at you just like everybody else in the community, right? Well, the only difference being they download a JJ exploit to feel like they finally found the fucking aliens in Area 51. All around, they just walk around all gangster and shit with their little Lego character being the most annoying 11 year old Scum fuck alive until someone finds out where they live and pays them a nice little visit like the creator of Brick Hill. This also introduces the idea of finally actually moderating your shithole known as Fat Pussy Boss, which makes you go on to Stage 5 Moderation. Now let's be honest, your little fast food inhaling never took a fucking walk or a shower for that matter, ass. Smelling like I just crawled out of my mother's rotten organ doesn't know jack shit about moderation. Not even in the slightest at that. Therefore, you must now sling dope to some 60 year olds to get yourself some admins or moderators for your Roblox revival. They will most likely do as great of a job as a mosquito, a dead squirrel, or a seagull that sees its own reflection in the goddamn window. Which is why it's only inevitable that from this point on, you move on from just being in rock bottom. Also known as Stage 6. 
the energy cell. <laughs> Since your moderators have been sitting around scratching their hairy ass with a fire swatter, it's inevitable that your little minor farming operation will be exposed for being run by fucking scumbags. With that being said, you can sit around in your room, cry tears into your little anime pussy body pillow, but it's no use. Just like the rest of you and your fucking mods, you will all most likely throw a tantrum like a little baby over the fact that your old Roblox Lego game is slowly but surely burning down like the White House in 1814. <laughs> you now have two choices. Since life is unfair, kill yourself or get over it. Which moves you to stage seven. No more Legos. No more Legos. <coughs> oh, I'm not going. Depending on your and your moderator's intelligence, which we know it's very low. All of you will either get your shit together and become half decent human beings, or you will all straight up to the Tide Pod challenge and go out with a bang! Much like your revival did at this point, from either your little Walmart bug exterminator or the fact that the community is as dead as you probably wish to be each time you look in the goddamn mirror. Which is why you decided to put the final nail in its coffin. If you decide to move on, good job. You have survived more bullets than Tupac. And you're probably gonna turn into at least a half acceptable human being. But since we know your intelligence is as low as my will to live, which look at me, I'm stupid emo, you will most likely decide to go out with a bang, which honestly, you've done everyone a favor. Either way, is a pretty good ending. I think this is a good point to, to point out this is like a joke video, so like don't don't take me seriously, thank you, okay, bye bye. And with that, your dream sexual ass that goes on to Twitter to call him your baby girl has gone through the cycle of old Roblox revivals. To really sum things up, they get born, they die in the matter of three months and everyone forgets about their existence. Kinda like you, just that you sadly take quite a tad more than three months either way guys again i hope you're very aware of the fact this is just a joke video based on the truth of revivals and it's it's really nothing but a joke nevertheless i hope you still enjoyed this video because i really enjoyed scripting filming and all around making this video and uh yeah P please watch playlist and sub okay okay guys suck my nuts uh <laughs> fuck you no seriously thank you all for watching this goddamn video sub to the goddamn channel go down into the comments to tell me tell me your opinion about this video okay if you want to see more like this let me know because I, I i'm down so yeah so my notes anyways man get your ass the fuck up out of here